Hello and welcome to the Beer Surge Party. This is Sean Inman with you. This is our second in the series of reviews of industrial water loggers, as I call them. The Coors Lights, the game day ices of the beer world, the things that uh, most craft beer geeks would not touch with a 10-foot pole. Now, I haven't had Coors Light in well nigh 10, 12 years, 13, something like that. And quite a few changes in Coors Light in that time. It's now got a vented wide mouth so that you can get the beer into you as fast as possible. It also has a frost brew liner to keep things frosty because you wouldn't want your tongue to actually taste anything. And of course it's got the ubiquitous blue mountains because if you can't tell that your beer is cold just by holding it, you need a can to tell you. So, let's do our, now that I've gotten all the snark and sarcasm out of me, uh, just from the can itself, which has just made me so angry, um, let's go into the beer. As you can see, uh, much like the Game Day Ice from last week, this one is very much watercolored. I mean, there is a slight yellow tint, but this is mostly water. I mean, and you can see right through this to the can behind it. That's how bad this is. Um, and this is why I call them industrial water walkers, because there's very little yellow in here. Now there's an odd smell to it. I get, I'm getting a bit of sugary, maybe a little honeyish sort of smell. A little antiseptic. Wow. Um, corn pop. Big time corn pop. Lots and lots of corn pops. It's like it's a breakfast beer if you love corn pops. Um, not super sweet, but this is just a lot of corn. As opposed to the Game Day Isis ones fairly crisp. As you can see, the head just dissipated to nothing. Um, wow, there's just not much there other than corn. I mean, this is as light as you can get. I mean, that, the Game Day Ice was a lot more, had at least a, that secondary flavor of honey to it. This one is just bland. I mean, there's nothing but corn. The aroma, there's something medicinal, something like medical waiting room in the smell. It's almost like a, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Hmm. Yeah, there is, I mean, you get a little alcohol burn on the back, but there is just not much to this at all. I mean, I was being half sarcastic when I was calling these things industrial water loggers, but this really proves the point. I mean, this is just basically beer flavored water. Um, corn, I, I, I wish, I mean, with other beers you can, not particularly me, but other people can go on for hours about different attributes like Oh, it's got a little bit of anise to it, or there's coriander, or there's notes of dark chocolate, or uh, various other things. This just, wow, there is nothing to this. I mean, it is just blank. Um, I wish I could say something more about this, but I mean, it's, there is nothing to this. That aroma is just not pleasant. Um, the flavor is better than the aroma. The color is, as you can see, just insipid. I mean, I'm not a big color fan because color can be deceiving as to the alcohol strength of the taste. But you gotta have something. I mean, <laughs> you're not banking on flavor. You're not banking on the aroma, obviously. So, I mean, at least color it up to make it look good. 
I, I don't know what beers they're using in the commercials that are all frosty and yellow because this is just vapid. I mean, wow. I would have uh, bet dollars to donuts that the game day ice would have been improved upon by Coors Light, but it seems the bar has been lowered. Uh, so of the two, here's uh, game day ice. Uh, because it at least had a little hint of honey to it um, and was at least a beer recognizable even though it had the same color issues. Uh, Coors Light has to go right below that by two or three steps so we'll see what next week brings but this week brings pretty much zero. It is light. The the marketers are not lying to you. It is light. All right, this is the Beer Search Party. This is Sean, and cheers.